What's going on everybody, Afflicted Gamer here and welcome back to another Division video. So 1.8.3 is out and we also have a couple of other things going on at the same time. First up, the survival DLC being free has been extended and right after that global event strike will be here. So for the new and returning players I thought that I would give you guys some tips on which gear sets are the best to wear during this global event, tell you about the modifiers and the quickest and easiest way to get the masks. So if you guys enjoyed the video and find it helpful, drop a like on it, it's much appreciated. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more Division content and obviously the Division 2. Real quick, if you hear the noise in the background, I apologize. I have redone this video so many times but I cannot seem to get to a quiet place to make it. So I'm sorry about that. The video had to be done. So first up is Survival. Today is August the 23rd and Survival is being extended until August the 27th. I believe the free part ends at 9am CEST. You might want to double check that but I'm pretty sure that I'm correct. Right after that on Monday again, Strike begins. Strike will run from August 27th until September the 2nd. The gear sets that you can go ahead and acquire will be Banshee, Defense, Path of the Nomad, and Predator's Mark. So for the modifiers, the base one is obviously Strike. It's always active. Enemies explode when killed. This is one of the most enjoyable global events that we have, in my opinion. It is a lot of fun to watch the chain reaction of explosions, especially when you add on the other modifiers. So, the second one up is called Preemptive Strike. Strike behavior plus sustained incoming damage triggers a small explosion on agents. Meaning that you'll have, you'll see this explosion at your feet and you'll get this kind of a staggered effect and it can knock you back a fair bit, so be careful if you're running solo and you decide to take on something quite challenging. The next one above that is called Tactical Strike. Preemptive strike behavior plus enemies are marked using strike explosions. When killed, they damage remaining enemies. Ally to ally explosion damage is increased. So if you have an enemy that's weak and you kill an enemy beside that weak enemy, you will see them explode. They'll take that extra damage and blow up. If you and one of your allies are close to the killing that you're doing, you will take increased damage. You'll know how close you are to your teammates because just like in any other global event, there is that line that connects you guys. So you'll see how close you are and you'll see that you can take a fair bit of damage and again you'll get staggered and knocked back a bit. So the gear sets that I do recommend for this global event, whether you are solo or in a team, Path of the Nomad for sure, Defense for sure, Striker even though it's had its adjustments, Sentry's Call because you really do want to keep your distance even though running and gunning in this event is pretty fun, I'm not going to lie. Keeping your distance is a safe way to stay alive, especially if you are playing solo. And Tactician's Authority is pretty awesome to use in this event, especially with chaining explosions. So here I am, I'm on my PC account. As you can see, Steam even posted something there while I'm recording this, and I don't have a lot of my stuff done, so I will be finishing up my combinations here on uh, PC during this event. But the first mask is called Strike Boss Killer. Kill 150 Riker bosses during Strike. Now it doesn't say during a mission, just during the event, which means the, mi the bosses that you kill in the missions count, and you can go ahead and kill bosses in the open world. Now, unlike the shields, one boss kill for your team does not count for you. You need to put the final bullet in the boss in global events. That is a huge key difference. So if it's not you, it won't count. So I recommend you doing the bosses solo for this mask. Kill any Riker boss anywhere on the map and it will count towards your 150 boss kills to get the jungle mask. A little bit time consuming, not that time consuming, just a little bit, but it is very easy. The next one is called Best Frenemies. Complete a strike mission without taking explosion damage from an ally. So anything you do in the mission, 
just make sure you and your teammates are far enough apart from each other that you don't take any damage. The best thing to do is have one friend run you through the mission because it only has to be on hard difficulty and tactical strike. It doesn't have to be on challenging, legendary, or anything like that. You stay back, they do the work, you get the mask, then return the favor. After that, the next one is called Bomb Proof. Complete a strike activity without taking any explosion damage. If you're going to do this solo, I would use a build like Tactician's Authority, use a turret, Seeker Mines, Sticky Bomb, and just stay away from the enemies. You could actually get Bomb Proof and Best Frenemies done at the same time if you don't basically do anything and just kind of sit back and again let your group or one of your friends just run you through a mission and you can get both of them done at the same time. Out of all of the global events I would say these are the easiest masks to go ahead and acquire. So but yeah that that is pretty much it and as for the rest of the stuff you know it's up to you what you want to do if you want to try to get everything done it's the usual stuff buy 30 caches complete the entire playlist you know do it all with only security wing skills uh mark targets there's one handbags uh where is it kill 500 rikers you have to set down 150 support stations. You can literally do that right outside of the base of operations while you're waiting for your group to, you know, all squad up for whatever mission you're going to do. Kill 25 Rikers via a death grenade. That will happen just by simply playing. A lot of these are very easy and can be done quickly. So, but yeah, anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for everything that you need to know revolving around Global Event Strike. If there is any other questions or concerns that you do have, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section, and I will do my absolute best to answer them for you. I will be streaming the Global Event next week, so come by and check it out. YouTube.com slash... Uh, you Gaming.youtube.com slash Afflicted Gamer. Sorry, I've tried to make this video so many times today. And other than that, don't forget that you can always follow me on Twitter at Afflicted Gamer. So, once again, guys, I hope that the video was helpful. Leave your thoughts and comments down below. And I will see you guys very soon in the next video or in the next live stream. I want to make sure I had a wave there. All right, guys, take care. And I will see you soon. And I'll see you next week as well with Global Event Strike.